going on with your YouTube drumming Chris and we're coming back at y'all with another vid. So we're here in a sneaker shop here in Atlanta. So hey, this is in the Premier Mall. So you guys everyone come through, make sure you guys check out. They got a lot of heat, man. We got sneakers on sneakers on wall. It's actually a really nice shop. They got the I guess you'll call this the heat wall or the heat room right here. We're gonna check this out. But the main reason I want to come through here, we got to check these out, man. These are coming out next week. Hey man's here, man. We got something special, some early, early. Uh, we do have the Kobe's, which is the... Do you have the Venice Beach ones, too? I don't have Venice Beach. Okay. Just Italian, camo, and Italian. All right, so there's three colorways supposedly coming out next week on sneakers. And we got the... Which I think is actually really dope from... Because you're telling Kobe's life story. Yeah. So we have the Phillies. If people didn't know, this is where the state that he was, the city and state he was born in. The, the Kobe 4 Phillies right here. This is really dope. We haven't seen these out in a long time. And of course, the camels, bro. The Italian camels, man. The Italy cam, Italian camels. You guys didn't know also, Kobe grew up in Italy. So that's what tells the story. And then also the other colorway, which is the Venice beaches, which we don't have. LA, played in Lakers and all that stuff. And all that good stuff, man. Well, let's just get into these, man. Let's get into these shoes. Philly, Kobe's right here. These are actually so dope, man. I never had these. Got like the translucent star right here. Get the Kobe signature, the 24. Got the laces. I mean, these remind me of like the colorway of the 76ers. You know, Philadelphia, if you guys didn't know. I mean, this could, this very well could be an Allen Iverson shoe, you know, because the Philly colorway, but it's Kobe, all right? It's Kobe. Got the carbon fiber shank plate. Look at the soles here, man. That is crazy. Look at Got the translucent blue. And I mean, these, are, these remind me a lot like one of those basketball shoes, what they call the flights or something back in the day, something like that. Oh, don't forget the Kobe signature. Got the translucent siding right here with the Nike swoosh. I mean, yes, it is a basketball shoe. So is everything else. It is a basketball shoe. But you know, Kobe's is actually one of the most worn basketball shoes in the NBA right now. And of course, my favorite Kobe model, high end camels, fam. Okay, these goes crazy. Let's look into this one. So this is the Kobe the Italians right here, the camel. This is actually my favorite of the pack because like, these are just tough, man. You actually probably rock these daily for real. I mean, got the snake skin right here. This is the same model as the reverse Grinches, the Grinches, the Mamacitas and all that. Got the signature right here. Got the Kobe logo, carbon fiber. I mean, if you guys didn't know anything about these, like, so I do wear a lot of my Kobe's at the gym or when I do play ball or whatever. And if you guys didn't know about the Kobe six, is definitely I recommend. Um, some people say differently. I'm narrow footed, but I still go about a half size up in all my Kobe's. They fit very snug. Like I said, I don't really, you know, I don't play ball crazy in mine stuff. But I do go to the gym, but I still like mine to feel a little comfortable, a little loose. I mean, they say it still does mold to your feet and all that, but I still recommend go about a half size up. That's what like a lot of the, all the Kobe's really. They're really, 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 really tight right around here. But these are... Now, my disappointment is that the Italian Camel, out of the three pack, these are going to be the most limited. And these are the best one. Why is it always... Why is it always the best colorway gotta be the most limited one? So this is gonna be the most limited. I think it's gonna be like 30,000 pairs, so they say. And then this is supposed to be like 50,000 pairs. And then the Venice Beach is supposed to be like 160,000 pairs. So there's gonna be a lot more pairs of the Venice Beaches. And there's gonna be in like a couple stores too. I think Hibbits, you know, uh, Flex App, certain stores. And then Nike's gonna get them too as well. And maybe a couple of tier zeros. But overall, Kobe's are still pretty limited. It just is what it is, you know? But anyway guys, you guys comment down below. April 13th, the release for sneakers. What colorway would you like better, more better? You got the camels, the Phillies, and the Venice Beaches, which we don't have, but just, I'll have a picture of it or something like that. But, so I'm hearing it will, I apologize guys. I did say it was supposed to be a shock drop. I misheard it or, me and Nikki B, we, we misinterpreted or we misheard it. It's going to be a drop on the 13 on sneakers, but it's going to be kind of like how it did, they did with the powder puffs. Not, not hearing no scratch and sniff or anything like that, but they will re uh, release in different times and stuff like that because we will get the fives as well. So we might get these last and these first or the Venice Beach last. You know, we'll, we got to wait and see. So make sure you guys stay tuned to, to the channel because if I find out any information, you guys already know I'm going to let you guys know.
is the, what do you call it? The heat locker? I'll say the like heat, heat, heat case. The heat case. We're in the heat case right now in request. So we got mad heat up here. I don't even know where to start. I mean, we got Dior's. These goes crazy. Um, what do you guys do with it? Where, how do you guys find out about the price tagging? I knew that one of us going to do it. Got you. All right, fam. Okay, off-white. These goes like, this is like 20 bands right here, I would think. 20 bands of these. 20. These go crazy. Now, supposedly, the rumors are we might get a restock of the Lemonades and the Brooklyns. That's a rumor. I don't know. I, I mean, if they do, cool. I think that'd be great for a lot of people. Obviously, you know, See what they do, how they do it, because it's like they only release it in Boston, and they only release it in New York. So are they gonna just release it in New York, and they're gonna do a release worldwide, or how are they gonna do that? Um, so we got a whole bunch of Travises here. We got the Goffs, Olives, the OGs. We're supposed to get way more colorways later this year too. I think the yellow ones are coming out in May, and then we're supposed to get like a reverse, like like these, the Olives, the medium Olives, they're calling it. And then we're gonna get that dark olive, which is kind of close to these. Which we, I, you know, I don't know. You guys, let me know. You think Travis Scott? Are they doing too much? Is it getting played out? Is it too many? I don't know. But of course. Oh damn! I didn't see y'all get these. Woo! Okay, we got the friends and fa okay. This changed the game up a little bit. We got the friends and family Air Jordan for Travis Scott. This is a mocha colorway. You guys know the purple ones too as well. So you got the Travis Scott, the Cactus Jack in the back. These go crazy. Oh man. I mean, I got these. I have this one at the house. I remember, uh, you know, story about these. These were these were going crazy, but not as crazy as they are now. But like, man, if they can come out with these. That would go crazy. We need another Travis four, Travis Scott four, man. That would be that would be a game changer. Instead of all a whole bunch of ones right here, which is another great one. This is a black one, man. One of his my size. It's a ten, kind of my size, but still, it's probably expensive. These I wouldn't mind. These are the gray ones. Oh man, we got the trophy rooms, trophy room lows. Those came out. We got trophy room uh, seven freeze out. Man, they got a lot of heat up there. Travis Scott, my man, just handed over the yellow canary air <laughs> air Jordan one. Travis Scott, Louis, what do you think about these, man? Yeah, yeah, you like these? Yeah, yeah. I mean, out of all the colorway, it's definitely the colorway different. Crazy, but it's cool. definitely different. But, I mean, people don't go crazy for these. And people don't go crazy for yellow shoes. We saw it with the Air Jordan 4s, the yellow joints that was coming out. No one really messed with those. I mean, they're okay, I guess. Uh, but, you know, the, the Thunders, they were cool. But, you know, usually all yellow doesn't do anything crazy. But since it is Travis Scott, you can put anything on it. As long as it's Travis Scott, you know people don't go crazy for it. Look at the gum sole. Man, look at that. New buck, tumble leather. I mean, we've seen these earlier, but I saw a sample, but this one looks way more better. These go crazy. All right, and these are already sold, right? Yeah, gone. How much you sell these for? I think it's like 2500 2500 <laughs> Inflation, there you go, man. <laughs> All right, so we got also, we got the SBs up here. Get the Grateful Dead's. Oh, they got a lot of heat up in there, bro. Oh man, we got the JTs, Justin Timberlakes, right there. These go crazy. White cement Air Jordan threes, but it's a, it's a little twist. These are the Tinkers, all right. This is when Justin Timberlake actually performed during the Super Bowl, uh, his performance and all that. These go crazy. I mean, they got a lot of fours. I remember these, the Laser fours. These came out uh, a couple years. Go. The Fear 4 fam. I mean, they're supposedly supposed to come out in 2023. I'm really hoping they still do and they're gonna keep it exactly like these. If you guys have seen that one video, I did get kinda scammed in a way. It was more like it was more like catfish. Someone sent over like brand new pictures that look just like this, like this clean, but I got mine all beat up. Yeah, but luckily it was GUA, so I should I sent them back. Man. We got the DR DB4s. These go crazy. Oh man, I never seen this. It's such a clean, a clean one too. The midsole's not even cracking or anything. So these go crazy. These had the Superman tongue right here. It's probably one of the best DBs that ever. We come got out. a couple PEs in here too as well. I didn't notice how much heat they got here. They literally it just keeps getting worse and worse. So we got a PE. So these are the Oregon sixes. We got the Oregon six right here. We just had a whole Cactus Jack. 
um, a whole like collaboration with a couple campuses. You know, he's, they're selling some merch. So if you have any of the Oregon Ducks, like you know, PE, they'll look great with the Cactus Jack stuff. I mean, even these, the eights, these go crazy. Got the duck right there, man. They had the Oregon Duck fours. Those, are, those are insane. And of course, you know, we have the Florida Gators. Check it out. Got the Gator in the back. These are the PEs. And we have also these are all big feet too, man. You know these are players. Here we go. Got the Gator, Jordan Five Gators. And I actually got a couple of Travis Scott merch too. That is a big foot right there. Look at that. Hello. These are the Michigans right here. So I got a couple Michigan Travis Scott stuff because my sister goes to Michigan. She actually went on campus and got me a couple things. So that's pretty dope. Look, look at the bottles, Icy Bombs, Michigan Wolverines. They, yeah, they just won the national championships too. So, you know, Michigan, shout out to Michigan. This was the heat case here. So, man, a lot of heat up in requests. Hey, thanks for letting me come through, fam. So. Hey, make sure you gotta check this place out, man. We, we got here kind of late, though. Sure, let me come through, bro. Yes, sir. I mean, you guys got like what? Four or five stores. You got? I know North Carolina. We got three in North Carolina, uh, one here in Georgia, and one in Birmingham. Birmingham, and Alabama. And we got one in like two weeks coming in Boca Raton. Place. Oh, damn! In Florida too, as well. So, man, request. They, they doing it, man. Anyway, thank you for the love, yeah, bro. Appreciate, appreciate it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We saw some heat, but as I look over on some of these GRs, man, like there's a whole bunch of other stuff too, as well. I mean, we got. Powder blue threes I haven't seen in a long, long time. These go kind of crazy, but I remember no one really wanted these when they first came out, but they all right, they cool. I mean, we have a lot of Jordan 4s. I haven't seen these in a long time. These came out, what, 2017 or something? For the news about the Jordan 5s, which is coming out next year in 2025, though. So, boom. No, these are not it, though. These are the Gore-Tex, but these go crazy, too. Look at the material, man. We'll see how it's going to look for the metallics man uh hopefully they, they do it well and then they make it look nice but i know the one that everyone's waiting for to come back out to re to re-release with the thick leather boom the gamma blues he's gonna go crazy if they ever do it i don't know if they'll ever bless us man this was a crazy time to be around when these came out and we got man of course you guys know these a lot of kobe's on the bottom Oh, it's kind of late here in Atlanta. I just literally just drove down and then uh, Anyways, so we got the Kobe's so make sure you guys stay tuned for sneakers Just make sure you guys follow the channel if I get any information how things are gonna go down I'm gonna let you guys know so you guys be prepared to cop those but just know it's gonna be kind of tough You know how Kobe's are um, But anyways, hey appreciate Atlanta appreciate restock man uh, we're about to call it in. It's getting late. Got here kind of late, though. It's all good, though. But, hey, just want to say I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below, and please hit that bell for all the notifications when I do drop vids. And don't forget to follow me on my social media at Chris and IG, sometimes on Twitter, and don't forget Snapchat. I'm also on TikTok. Anyway, guys, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Peace.